Hey everyone, it's Garrick with EcoStylist, and today I'm gonna to be making a video for you. It's gonna be a product review of some of the clothes from one of our EcoStylist certified brands, Icebreaker. Now, before we jump into the clothes, I wanna share a little bit about the brand Icebreaker. So first off, I'm not gonna go too much into their ethics and sustainability because with any brand that we've certified, we have their scorecard and their rating on our website, which I'm gonna have linked in the video. So if you wanna know more about you know, what makes Icebreaker an ethical or sustainable brand, uh, you can check that link. You can see the scorecard and you can see our full evaluation of them. You can see how they rated on transparency, fair labor and sustainability and learn more about the brand that way. See why they're a brand that we certify, see why they're a brand that we support and how you can you know, shop them and support them as well. But I will say one thing to give you a quick overview about the brand is one of their specialties is natural clothing. So one of the things, obviously a lot of our brands use, you know, natural materials like organic cotton, hemp, linen, etc. right? And you can expect this. One thing that kind of makes Icebreaker stand out is that's kind of their whole brand ethos is that like everything they make is made from natural materials. Um, so what you can expect, what that means is you can expect, you know, no polyester and things like this, no, you know, no fossil fuel derived fabrics in icebreakers clothing. So that's kind of a cool thing that they've really focused on. Um, and you're going to see that in the pieces I feature. You're going to see, you know, pieces that are made from, you know, linen, um, you know, cotton and wool shorts, you know, cotton and wool or rain jacket, which is a pretty cool piece because usually rain jackets, as you know, are synthetic, even if it's recycled polyester, you know, usually these are, these are synthetic um, pieces. So that's a quick uh, preview of Icebreaker. And now let's get into the clothes. So first up, I've got these two core pieces from Icebreaker, and this is the Merino linen uh, striped t-shirt and the Merino hike shorts. And so the shorts are a blend of cotton and merino wool. Uh, the shirt, as it sounds, is a blend of merino wool and a linen. Um, so here's a quick look at these pieces. Um, and just give you, and so I've worn these pieces um, quite a bit now, given, given a full test of them. Um, I've worn them, you know, out and about, obviously, in like in coffee shelves, but also climbing. Um, so I've worn them for physical activity, see how they, how they perform. Um, and here's my thoughts on them. So first of all, I'll give you my honest like pros and cons. So the t-shirt I love, I think, you know, linen um, and merino wool, they're both known to be breathable materials and that's very true for the shirt. The shirt is like super breathable. Um, I definitely feel uh, like I sweat less compared to other t-shirts that I own. Um, it feels like, yeah, super comfy, uh, like well ventilated, obviously. Um, and something nice about it is because it's so breathable and, and with merino wool and linen, it also reduce, um, it reduces bacteria compared to like, especially compared to materials like polyester, where, um, you know, the bacteria will just build in the armpits and they, you know, they smell obviously terrible after one wear. Um, this one actually, like, you could actually wear this several times without washing it, even working out. Now, I know for some people that's gross and, and whatever, and, you know, that's fine. Like, you can, you're welcome to wash it after every use, but just knowing that, like, that's something you could do and that the shirt's not going to smell is a huge plus. Right. Like, let's say you wore it one time and you went to the gym and you worked out and then, you know, and the shirt didn't smell afterwards. Like, that's a pretty nice perk, I think, you know, compared to like a lot of shirts that you would want to be taking off immediately. Um, also, it's like great for traveling in that case, too. Right. Something that, you know, in, in or backpacking. Right. It's like in a case where you don't necessarily have to wash it every time. You have a lot more freedom, you know, in those situations where maybe washing is, is a challenge. Um, so just like definitely a great travel shirt, great for summer. Like, yeah, I really honestly, I really love this T-shirt. Um, I don't really know like any cons about it. Now let's talk about the shorts. Um, so as I mentioned, these are merino cotton shorts. Um, also, yeah, also they're pretty thick. Um, you know, they're a little, or they're on the, or I would say they're medium. The thickness is about medium, um, but they still breathe quite, quite well. So I was gonna say like for, for, you know, maybe in summer, ideally you might want something even thinner, but I wear these, uh, you know, in the summer in Austin where it's, 105 degrees regularly <laughs> this summer and it, they've been you know i yeah they breathe quite well um uh, yeah probably among the most comfortable shorts i have in terms of like temperature regulation and just keeping me cool um so yeah honestly like i think they look good i think they perform pretty well athletically i will say one con about these shorts though is the fit the fit's a little strange and so like when working out intensely, like let's say like something, let's say something cli like, like climbing, for example, where you, where you really need to be flexible, you know, you're stretching, you gotta do a lot of like hip flexibility. They're a little bit limiting in that way. Like there's definitely um, my maximum range with my hips is it, it, it's, you sort of like feel the shorts pushing against you at some point. So that's one con is I would say they're not, like the fit and the flexibility isn't perfect 
Um, so it just depends on what you're doing though, right? If, you don't, if you're not doing something where you need a full range of hip motion, then you're not even gonna notice, especially like out and about, right? You're not gonna notice that. Um, but if you're gonna do like yoga or something, probably not the best shorts for yoga. Um, so that's the only con about these. Otherwise, I like them. Um, and yeah, they're, they're great summer shorts. And last but not least, let's talk about this Merino cotton windbreaker. So here it is. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. Um, and this piece, I do love quite a lot. Uh, as I mentioned, you know, this is a really impressive piece to me because as I mentioned with Icebreaker, all their clothes are made from natural materials. Uh, and it's really hard to find a windbreaker um, slash uh, light rain jacket, like a rain, rain, rain jacket that is not made from polyester or recycled polyester or nylon. I mean, you, you all know, right? You've looked at rain jackets. Like across the board, it's, it's synthetic materials, right? So finding this one from from windbreak from icebreaker, that <laughs> it's a, it is a windbreaker. Um, finding this one from icebreaker that is cotton and merino wool, it's it's really cool. Um, so really impressed, honestly, with that. Um, so what do I like about this jacket? Uh, well, first of all, it's it's super light. Uh, so yeah, it's like very like I know you know in the summer, and that's why I really like it. It's easy to pack it, right? It's um, it's super thin, super breathable, super light. So like in the summer even, um, it's unlikely I would want to wear a rain jacket. Maybe I would just let myself get wet, you know, right? In the summer, but um, but if I wanted one, you know, this one is, I, I, you know, probably about as good as it's gonna get, right? Because it's it's the lightness of it. Um, you could actually throw it on and, and, and be, be protected from, you know, the elements, um, but with something super light and breathable. So I love that about it. Now, some things, it's not waterproof. Um, it's water resistant, water repellent, and it's a wind thinker. So I'll give you a quick look at the whole thing. But yeah, so this one, I also don't really have any cons for this piece. Um, like I said, because I'm, I'm, you know, I think it's a pretty impressive, pretty impressive piece given its materials. Oh, and I've paired it with these custom loafers from Adelante Made to Order, another one of our certified brands, and something really cool they do is ensuring living wages for their shoemakers in Guatemala, so I'll have those linked in the bio as well as all of these clothes in case you want to check any of this out. As always, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, hit the like button, subscribe, we really appreciate your support, and until next time, dress like you give a damn.